This math knowledge practice test question for the ASFAB and PICAT says, if a rectangle has a perimeter of 24 feet and is four feet wide, what is its area? So at the end of the day, we're being asked to find the area of a rectangle. And as you should know, that's gonna be length times width. Again, on the ASFAB and PICAT, you're not given a reference sheet, so you do have to commit some of these formulas to memory. That said, I wanna take a few steps back and talk about the properties of rectangles because using that information, we'll eventually be able to find the area of this rectangle. So the first thing I wanna mention regarding the properties of rectangles is this. This is the width of the rectangle and it's equal to this width. Likewise, this is the length of the rectangle and it's equal to this length. Now, how do you find the perimeter of any polygon? You simply add up all of its sides. So to find the perimeter of this rectangle, we're just gonna add all these sides together. So if you start here and go around, that's gonna be width plus length plus width plus length. All right, so uh, now that we've determined the formula to find the perimeter of this rectangle, let's add this piece of information to the puzzle. We know the width of this rectangle is four feet. It tells us that right there. So we know its width is four feet. So in the perimeter formula, I'm going to replace width, our W, with 4. So this becomes 4 plus length plus 4 plus length. Likewise, I'm going to come down here to the area formula and replace width with 4. So as you can probably tell right now, the only thing we really need to determine is the length of this rectangle in order to find its area. And what's more, we know the perimeter of this rectangle is 24 feet. So at the same time, I'm gonna take this 24 and replace P with 24. So this becomes 24 equals four plus four is eight. L plus L is gonna be two L. And if we solve this equation for L, we'll know what the length of this rectangle is, and then we'll be able to find its area. So I'm gonna subtract eight from both sides. In doing so, this crosses out, leaving me with two L over here. 24 minus eight is gonna be 16. And to get L by itself, we're gonna divide both sides by two. This says L equals 16 over two, which is eight. So we know the length of this rectangle is eight. Again, uh, to find the area of a rectangle, it's length times width. We know our width is four and our length is eight. So this becomes eight times four, which is gonna be 32. So in other words, the area of this rectangle is C, 32 square feet.